HQ, come in. This is Captain Olga Kalanina. It's 3 p.m. I'm on my way to talk to a person of interest regarding the disappearances happening all over Novoslava. A man by the name of Dr. Lavrov seems to be involved. If I can't find him by 5 p.m., I'll return to HQ. Over and out. Olga, I thought I made myself perfectly clear when I told you not to go out without backup again. You need to take a partner, especially to that part of the city. It's dangerous. Yes, sir, I can see that. Considering the Ruthenian army is here. I don't remember them saying anything about stationing troops in this area. They're here already, are they? It's an emergency deployment. Seems like there's been some sort of skirmish near the Garmonian border. They've also asked that the police cooperate with them however we can. Skirmish, huh? Give me a break. We're still waiting on the details. Once you get back, we'll send you all to accompany the troops. Over and out. You there! Halt! I'm with the police. Let me through. You're telling me they sent you out here on your own? I guess the cops don't have enough people either. If you're serious about going down, I need to run your ID. Wait over there for a second. Are you from around here? Oh, don't be scared. It's all right. I, I'm just looking for someone. Hey, look. Meow. You don't know anyone called Dr. Lavrov, do you? Dr. Pavel? You do know him. Those are Garmonian soldiers. <sighs> I hope you don't mind if I borrow this. Someone! Please! Help us! Please, Major, wait. Haven't I done all you asked? Don't act like you don't remember. I got you all those girls. All the ones you wanted. Antonina, Irina, Serafima. I have records of all of them. If you kill me now... Lieutenant Borden. Actually, it's Major Olga. How long has it been since you served under me? Three years? And now you're a Ruthenian dog. You are the best of the best. And I still see that same arrogance in your eyes. That was Dr. Lavrov you just killed, wasn't it? How are you involved with him? I see no reason to tell you. Besides... We're in the middle of a war. So what if I kill one or two people from the country we're fighting? Soldiers require a certain cruelty. Oh, you had ability in abundance, of course, but you never had the right... disposition. But... now that you've returned to me... I'm happy to start your training all over again. 
I really was sorry to hear about your daughter. Hard to believe it's been three years since then. I don't understand you. It was these fool Ruthenians that killed your daughter in the first place. You were working with Lavrov. Don't try to tell me you had nothing to do with all the people that went missing. Enough of these wild delusions. Apparently I didn't train you as well as I should have. Come now, Olga. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Novoslava is finished no matter what you do. Don't underestimate me. I'm not who I used to be. What is it? <sighs> yeah, all right. I'm on my way. Apologies, Olga. But I've got to take care of this. The vermin in this city won't exterminate themselves. She's a little worked up. Why don't you give her something else to think about? <sighs> Looks like I made it out all right. I better hurry up and find the Ruthenian army. Reports are coming in that our troops are outnumbered all throughout Novoslava. There is also word that Garmonia is sending further reinforcements over the eastern border. This can't be happening. Tell me where our troops are. There is a unit currently engaged in combat on the west side of the city, but it is too dangerous there. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's dangerous everywhere. I'm going. How's the rest of the city faring, Koshka? What's going on with the Ruthenian army? The defense forces are retreating from this area. Retreating troops are heading westward. It seems the plan is to regroup at the harbor. Then there's no point in staying here much longer. Collecting footage of the area. The safest route to the harbor is through the sewers. Borodin's soldiers are in the city. Take care not to run into them. <sighs> he always has been like a dog with a bone. Some things never change. Finally, some help. Wait, you're a civilian? Not who you were hoping for, hmm? I can leave. No, wait. I'll take whatever help I can get. Beggars can't be choosers. That girl. I saw her in the slums. Is she alive? Yeah. Enemy soldiers, prepare to intercept. You take care of the girl. I'll handle the hostiles. No sign of the enemy nearby. It is safe for the time being. You did well out there. For a civvy. I suppose the Ruthenian army is too busy to drill any manners into its soldiers. This is why I hate the military. Well, she's bleeding a little. It doesn't look like more than a scratch. She'll wake up soon. Take the girl and get to the shelter. I'll go get help. With things the way they are, that's the only option. I'm not so sure about that. I bet you're nicer than you look. But I honestly don't know if you're capable. Do all cops have a hero complex, or is it just you? Letting a civilian get involved won't cause me anything but trouble. I'm just worried about her. I have a responsibility to protect her. We're in the middle of a war. Now is not the time to go sticking your neck out when you don't have to. Get your head on straight. <sighs> this conversation is a waste of time. I'm getting her to the shelter, and I'm finding help. Alone. Whatever makes you happy. Well, good morning. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, I'll protect you. Uh, 
Don't touch me. <laughs> Wait. Come back. I want a situation report now. Have you located Boonin? Sir, the search of his office yielded a number of data files. Only files? Not the man himself? He had orders to wait there. There was no one in the office, sir. <sighs> that coward must have gotten spooked. Order our troops to conduct a thorough search of the area for him. And get those files analyzed immediately. Kill anyone who tries to interfere. Am I understood? Yes, sir. That wasn't Borden's unit. That man looked like the commander, but he wasn't wearing a Garmonian uniform. Who on earth is he? His uniform resembles a Zaftra army pilot suit. It is highly possible that Zaftra sent him to collaborate with the Garmonia army. Wait. Are you saying Zaftra's involved in this war? Lacking any further information, I cannot hazard a guess. That didn't look like any invasion unit I've ever seen. So, what are they doing here? Lacking any further information, I cannot hazard a guess. Don't worry about it. I'll figure it out for myself. They mentioned something about data files. Maybe finding those files will tell me what those guys are doing here. He didn't look like military. I swear I've seen his face before. Somewhere. Match found. Ruslan Ismailov, former leader of NGFP, the group that fought for Novoslava's liberation. He was confirmed dead two years ago, in April of 2125. The hero of Novoslava's revolution? That can't be him, he's dead. He was assassinated right after the city was liberated. That is correct. His face is a 98.3% match to images on file. Barring the existence of an identical twin, it is unlikely that was anyone else. A twin? Wouldn't that be convenient? But then... Who was that? Don't move. I believe that's my line, Mr. Dead Man. You... aren't Ruslan. Ruslan? Why did you say that name? Tell me what's going on. Ruslan Ismailov, Novoslava's fallen hero, was just here. He was here? What are you talking about? He's dead! Honestly, I don't quite believe it myself. I know he was assassinated by someone called... Leonid Osterman, a former member of Ruslan's Liberation Group. He was arrested, charged with murder, and sentenced to death. There are records that his punishment was carried out that same year. Where is he? Where did Ruslan go? He left. You just missed him. Who was that guy? That was Leonid Osterman, a former member of Ruslan's Liberation Group. He was charged with murder and sentenced to death. There are records that his punishment was carried out that same year. Inexplicably, both his appearance and voice print match the records. Another ghost. Olga, I have bad news. A short time ago, the Ruthenia army decided to retreat from Novoslava. What do you mean, retreat? It hasn't even been half a day. <sighs> Koshka, is there any other way I can meet up with the army? 
Continue west as planned. There are private container ships moored in the harbor. It is possible to escape if you are able to board one. The Garmonians are heading to the harbor too, aren't they? I've got a bad feeling about this. Scan complete. There are countless Wanzers in the area. The enemy has already taken control of the harbor. See any ship I might be able to escape on? There is a detained container ship moored in the harbor. What about the Wanzer I'm after? Do they already have it? I see nothing like that. Its current location is unclear. Having a Wanzer sure would make this whole escape thing a lot easier. Looks like I'll have to investigate. Any guesses as to where their commander might be? It is difficult to say with certainty. Transmitting multiple 10 coordinates to your device. The enemy is vigilant. Please proceed with caution and avoid engaging in combat. What? What are you doing here? Are you alright? What kind of monster locks up a little girl in a place like this? Come on, sweetie. Come with me. Really? But... You don't have to... What? Just leave me here. Run! Did something happen? You'll get killed if you stay here. Why aren't you trying to run away? Wherever I go, people die. They all die. You were in foster care, weren't you? Did something happen? No one... No one can save me. What are you talking about? You know something. Something really important. Tell me. What happened to you? It's too late. No one can do anything now. You know, I had a little girl once. She'd be about your age now. I couldn't protect her. But I won't let that happen again. I won't let them take another child from me. So I... I'm a replacement. Are you helping me for her sake? You're pretty smart. But it doesn't matter whose sake I'm doing this for. All that matters is that I'm doing it. I wanted to protect people. Even after I left the army, I still couldn't shake that feeling. That's why I became a police officer. To protect people like you. Somehow, I'm not surprised to see you here. Major, please. I'm begging you. Let her go. I've got a reputation to uphold, you know. And it's already suffered enough letting her escape me this long. Though, if you'd be willing to take her place. Heartwarming to 
display of selflessness with them. Truly. But I don't think my client would appreciate me giving them anything less than the merchandise I promised. I knew it. You and Lavrov were in the trafficking business together. Was it money you wanted? Or to satisfy some sort of sadistic fantasy? On second thought, I don't want to know. I don't care. You're an officer in the Garmonian army, for God's sake! Someone like you operating a human trafficking ring inside Ruthenia. How could you possibly think you could escape international scandal? <laughs> international scandal. <laughs> That's priceless. <laughs> And just whose head do you think will roll if word of this gets out? Think back. You were always on your own, right? Never had a partner to help with your little... investigation. I know you've got brains in that pretty little head of yours. So use them. Just how easy do you think it is ferrying hundreds of undocumented people across the border? How do you think we got them across? It's a near impossible feat without... Help. Help? You had help? From the government? Both governments? Both countries knew about this! You were the only one doing anything to try and stop it. Getting you out of our way would have been remarkably easy, but... Then this damn war started and we had to put the operation on hold for a bit. Be a good girl now. You're the last bit of inventory we have to load up. No, wait! Calm down. The contract specifies I hand her over, alive. But you, on the other hand, considering how you all but walked right into my open arms, we ought to have a little bit of fun together. Before the end. Just me, Borodin. Ah. Oh, I didn't realize. I suppose I ought to thank you. Samargo's help is the reason we're winning this war. That mech is yours, as promised. No one sees anything. No one says anything. Good. And please, rest assured, whatever it is you're doing here isn't for any of us to know. If there's something you want to say, just say it. I'm sure there are many complex layers to this war that I can't even begin to imagine. And I have no intention of getting involved in any of them. That's all I want you to know. I understand very well what becomes of your organizations. Of those who make an enemy of Samargo. It's my hope that we can maintain a favorable relationship in the future. Very prudent of you, Borodin. What is this? Just, uh, personal affairs. Rest assured, it'll be taken care of shortly. Your methods disgust me. Exact science, accounting for the fates of little men. I'm entrusting them to you, Leah, a young girl who was raised at that facility. In normal circumstances, I would never place such a heavy burden on the shoulders of a child. But these are not normal circumstances. 
It is my fervent hope that this information finds its way into the hands of a compassionate soul, so that these horrors can finally be exposed to the light of day. MODS virus experiment reports from foster facility like family. What in the name of? Helicopter will be touching down on top of that building over there. Smack dab in the middle of enemy territory. Still, what other option do we have? So what's the plan? I'll dive right into the thick of things and give them hell. Then, while they're busy dealing with me, you can secure a path to the top of that building. Not a bad idea, kid. I'll clear the way up there. Count on me. I've got some unfinished business to take care of here. Tell me if there's anything else I can do along the way. Just let me know if you find the wands or that I can use. But don't go out of your way. Got it. I'll come find you guys when I'm done. Who are you? difficult question to answer. I threw away my true name when I threw away my country. I was born in Ravnoi. My father was a fool of a researcher, and my mother knew nothing of the world outside her own. But enough about me. You're here for Yulia. Isn't that right? Let's say you save her. What then? She's an orphan. She has no one waiting for her to come home. her to replace the daughter you lost. How do you know about my daughter? It's pathetic how mothers feel so entitled to their children. Just because you give birth to them does not mean they are yours to control. You never consider that what makes her happy could be different from what makes you happy. You don't want to save her. All you're after is your own salvation. What are you going to do to her? You have no right to... to use her as you see fit. No right? Is that some sort of joke? Humans invented the concept of rights hundreds of years ago, and yet, here we are today, at war. You'd think if rights meant anything, then war would be a thing of the past. Then why are you doing this? Does anything mean anything at all to you, Ruslan Ismailov? Betraying your friends. Spreading misery and chaos. What's the meaning in anything you've done? You cannot save her. I don't care what you say. I'm staying the course. I'm getting out of here. With her. She doesn't have that freedom. If you pity her life in a cage, then do her a favor. And kill her. Keep going and you'll find her. I wonder what you'll choose when you do. She's not here. Am I too late? <sighs> Yulia! Where are you? Stay away! I told you already. Just leave me alone!
I want to help you. Don't. If I live, bad things will happen to people. They... They want my blood. I don't want anyone else to get hurt because of me. They kept me in a room. On a bed, all hooked up to wires. There were so many grown-ups that came in and out. And none of them even looked at me. I don't want to be alone anymore! You have me. Stay back! <laughs> You're not alone. I'll always be here for you. Following the bloody battle in the city, Novoslava came under the control of an international peacekeeping army. The exact number of those who fell victim to the fighting is unknown even to this day. What, if anything, did humanity learn from these sacrifices? Do we live by our own actions, or are our fates determined by something outside ourselves? The answer lies in the future built by the survivors of this terrible tragedy. Shall be a servant of a roy, bien o doveray. Shall be a servant of a roy, bien o doveray. Per you do to fear my salpeti, salpetu my, jalpio, salvetu veroi, genia, tu veroi, jalpio. Desire, desire, desire. 
心。